Once I thought we had the three days of practice really helped us out. I think we got Omaha is a little worn down. They've been on the road five games. So, um, but uh, uh, I think they'll win some games in the league, and I think they'll do pretty well. But um, you're on the road. You're losing one of your guys. Um, uh, and we came out. It was good three weekdays of practice for us. I think we learned from some things. Uh, the double team, which we saw again tonight in the post, uh, we played better against it. We got back to what we were supposed to do. And... Uh, um, that was disappointing to see in the last game, but uh, I think we learned from them. So good, good, good thing for us. Um, passing was very good, the 26 assists, and, and especially early, and it set the tone for us. But uh, good performance all around, good balance, um, able to play some guys. Obviously, uh, Alex is, uh, was hurt, and I didn't realize how, how uh, hurt he was. His foot's still a little bit swollen. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll take tomorrow off because we have to. And... Um, uh, and we'll see how he feels on on uh, uh, third Wednesday, I guess, uh, before we leave for Florida. So, um, Jalen played well. It was good to see him uh, get going. Again, the three practices this week really helped him. I think it's the first time he's really had been able to practice three days in a row and just get a little bit of uh, uh, feel going and, 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 uh, and uh, comfort. So, I thought that was good for us. And uh, um, and then RJ, it was good to see him get going too and play with some confidence and, uh, and, and play at that point in guard. And we told him we would, and, and he did. And uh, I thought he let things come to him and, and uh, did a good job. So, pretty good all around performance. Sean was great. Uh, felt that should have played him more than that. Some, I should have said some in the last game. I, I told him that after the game. He gives us some good things energy, um, uh, spacing of the floor. He's not really hunting shots as much as maybe some of the other guys. And, uh, but also has to be guarded because he can shoot it. So um, just need him to come up with deflections, be a good defender for us, and, and I thought he did that today. So, um, and then I thought Omni did a good job too as well in, in the post. He gives us that second threat to score in the post, and that's a, a, a rare luxury uh, at this level. Coach, is there any chance that Robinson's going to miss extended time? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll see how he feels tomorrow. I, I, based on the improvement, it was very severely swollen on uh, after the game uh, on Wednesday. And so uh, based on the improvement, we'll see. Uh, we, we, we anticipate him being uh, better. Let's just say it's, it's going in the right direction, um, but it kind of caught us off guard. We didn't know that uh, how severe it was uh, based on what he had said during the game and then after the game. But uh, he was obviously playing with a limp and, and, and on Wednesday. So we'll see going forward. He, he, he had x-rays on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's nothing there. It's a bone bruise. And, uh, um, you know, it's a, it's a severe swelling, but it's down. I looked at it today, and it was uh, uh, the doctors uh, have uh, looked at it, and they've seen, they've seen improvement over the three days. And, and uh, I think they were surprised at, uh, surprised at how, how uh, severe the, the swelling was based on him continuing to play on Wednesday. Did, did he come to you uh, or, or the coaches and say he couldn't go or that his foot was more injured than he – or did he thought perhaps? Or uh, I don't get when Wednesday or yeah when uh, after Wednesday after. Uh, after yeah, Wednesday. I think I think he was surprised by how uh, you know adrenaline game and and uh, but then we saw some things where he was limping around and not and not playing on it. So um, you know I think uh, maybe it, it, you, oftentimes there's more pain after the game. So I think that was one of those cases. Swelling probably kicked in the, immediately thereafter. Uh, I don't know. That was, to be honest, I, I, I don't think it was as swollen on the Wednesday night, Thursday morning it was. Sean played 24 minutes tonight for you, Coach. Did you expect to play him that, that many minutes? Yeah, well, I mean, that, with, with our numbers, that was what, what we thought. So uh, uh, maybe a little bit more. I thought we could have got Desmond maybe more minutes. But uh, um, based on how the game was going, he got the early foul. So we had Sean in there. And then uh, maybe I could have put him in at the end to, to get him some more minutes. But uh, it was good to get Sean in there and playing, and, and he was doing some good things. So, um, you know, it's we're, we're an interesting uh, situation. You know, you, 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 with having just 11 guys, you got to have almost some starters out there with a, with a, a significant lead. And, um, you know, you can't play the guys all the last 20 minutes, your, your, your guys, because they can't go the whole 20 minutes. Uh, um, so... Um, you know, you got Kenrich's in there, kind of eight minutes, seven minutes left in the game. Um, you know, Sean is, you know, can't play him 40 minutes or 30 long, high 30s. You got to get him about 25 or so, given this uh, uh, condition. These guys played Omaha, uh, 
Omaha played Louisville pretty tough yeah. last time out. How impressed were you at the def with your well, defense tonight? Uh, I, you know, I, I was and to the degree we did some things that I kind of broke down the end. They ended up shooting 51%. We gave up too many layups, and a lot of it happened in the second half where they shot 56%. So, you know, it's it, it, uh, the point I made to our team afterwards was you can see when the, 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 the level of intensity declines a little bit when you have a 40-point lead, 42-point lead. And uh, they must have hit, you know, I'd say 60, 65 percent of the shots down the last five minutes or so. So you can see what happens when that occurs, and hopefully we can learn that little, uh, that that that, that more uh, that the, the hard aggressive hedge we didn't have at the end, the ball pressure on the ball we didn't have at the end, and, and that's where layups occur. So. Um, you know, that's what we've got to cut down. But uh, for the most part, first half was pretty good, uh, even though they shot 45%, uh, um, but they didn't have a lot of shots. And uh, again, we had some turnovers that lead the baskets, which is the thing we have got to cut down. Still, I, I would hope that we would have had uh, two less turnovers. We want to be at 10, we ended up with 12. How much of an impact did pressing and playing like three quarters court, half court trap have on defensive intensity? Well, I, I think it was good. I mean, we just got to keep getting better at it. I don't feel like we're good. We, we adjusted some guys. We got some uh, a little bit better uh, um, uh, length deflections uh, while we did that. So I think that's good for us. But we're, we're uh, trying to get better at it and, uh, and not give up baskets at the back end. But most importantly, use some clock, uh, get an occasional turnover. And uh, but not give any advantage on the back end. So um, for the most part, we did. And one time, you know, we had a couple breakdowns, but sometimes things will happen. You talk about not giving up turnovers. On your end, <coughs> your players forced a lot of turnovers and mm -hmm. took advantage of them turning into points. How impressed with you were you with that? Well, we we want to get more turnovers. We we feel like we we with with our field goal percentage defense. Our goal is 40. That's a that's a hard goal to reach. I don't know if we're a team that can get that. So because uh, we don't have maybe the size and length and size that, that, that necessary the way the game's going now and with with fouls and and how the game's called. So uh, getting a few more deflections and the turnovers is, is something that will help our defense. In addition, can really help your offense too as well. So. You know, we've emphasized that we're charting them. Um, you know, we're, we're putting a real, uh, much bigger emphasis than I've ever put on them uh, as a coach. And, uh, you know, I, I always blame whatever you emphasize, you certainly are, are good at. I can't emphasize everything because it, would be, it wouldn't be an emphasis. But um, that, that's something we're really trying to get more of. And, and uh, for the most part, we are. We're getting a little better at it. And uh, we've started it in like the last couple of games with so even more emphasis. So hopefully it continues. Anything else?